Jack says France is uh, is in the Ukraine. Yeah, France is in there for sure. I had like uh, I mentioned this on the last stream, but I'll expand on it. Right, I had a relative visit me from France, or not visit me, visit family from France. Right, I met with them. I saw them last week, a few days ago, five days ago, six days ago, or something like that. She works in France in media, Euro news, right? <laughs> she is 100% full on board with Macron is a nice guy. That's what she said. Macron is nice. What's wrong with Macron? I said, Marine Le Pen's party is just going to annihilate Macron. Mac Macron is nice. So she thinks Emmanuel Mel <laughs> Banker Macron is nice, right? He hasn't made any mistakes. She thinks Putin bad, Russia bad. Whatever's happening in Ukraine is all fault of Russia, and Russia wants to invade the rest of Europe. That's what she thinks, right? She thinks that the war in Azerbaijan, the genocide, the ethnic cleansing that Azerbaijan, Turkey, and Israel did in Nagorno-Karabakh against the Armenians, is fault of Russia, Russia bad, Putin bad. Remember, she works for one of the largest news agencies in Europe, and that's what she thinks. The rest of the family is unaware of the ones that were there, some of them, right? most of them anyway. They, they really don't understand geopolitics. And I was arguing with her, and the family turned and said, she works in the news. She knows. I look at them. I go, what are you guys talking about? She works. I didn't say this. I'm thinking in my mind. She works for propagandists, right? And then I mentioned that, oh, what about the coup in 2014? What about NATO? What about this? And she turned to me and said, oh, she's... She's actually getting out of the news, <laughs> news business. She's going to go do something else. And I turned to her and I said, good, good, right? That's the level of intellect in Europe regarding Russia, what's going on geopolitically, economically, and the revolution, the civil unrest, the civil whoop, yellow, now called civil unrest, the civil unrest that is coming to Europe and to the rest of the Western world, right? completely oblivious right at the same time one of the other person that was there with family was a former rcmp agent royal canadian mounted police someone that worked for the rcmp for three decades right older person senior citizen and they're also on the same mindset russia bad putin bad oh everything is the fault of russia they didn't even realize that I mentioned to them, Russia's economy is growing, and they laughed at me. I turned to them and said, according to the World Bank, Russia is the fourth largest economy in the world based on PPP, right? And they laughed at me. You're crazy. Where are you getting your news from? That's what the World Bank said, right? Russia is now the fourth largest economy in the world, right? So I told them, I didn't believe a word I said, right? And they said, all... All this war, uh, the economic problems, inflation is Russia's fault, is Russia's fault. But one thing they do understand is that because they quoted it, they turned to me and said, half a million Ukrainians have died because of Russia, right? Because of Russia. Young men have been sacrificed because of Russia, right? So that was interesting because in the past they have never recognized that that many ukrainians have died they always said that uh, more russians have died than ukrainians that's the level of intellect uh, that some people in the western world have so we're still in a f in for a world of hurt in the west world of hurt okay